Hello and welcome back to the SysNav video training series. In this video, we're going over the inventory feature found in SysNav version 2.1 or later. This tool, in conjunction with the design files feature, allows you to create and save systems offline and then seamlessly sync your system designs with real world devices. Inside the inventory is a catalog of L-Class loudspeakers and arrays that can be chosen from to create a virtual system inventory. You can also import loudspeakers and arrays from an AIM design. These items can then be assigned to physical loudspeakers once connected to a live system. We'll cover design files in a separate video, so make sure to check that one out as well. For now, let's dive into the inventory and take a look at how it works. Before connecting to SysNav, we'll first need to power on the array or arrays and run the optimization process. Once the arrays are optimized and showing green status bars, we are ready to launch the SysNav app and add our loudspeakers to the inventory. Whether you're working from a custom design or simply using the default design within SysNav, the first thing you're going to need to do is reconcile your physical loudspeakers with the virtual loudspeakers within the application. From the home screen, with your loudspeakers connected, select the inventory option on the screen. Or at any time, you can select the menu in the upper left corner and click or tap inventory. The inventory screen consists of the system inventory on the left side of the screen. Once you reconcile, this is where the final deployed loudspeaker configuration will be displayed. The right side of the screen is where the inventory catalog is. We will be selecting virtual loudspeakers and arrays from this section to populate the inventory. The idea is to build a virtual system that is identical to your physical system. Then, we will reconcile the virtual loudspeakers in the design to the physical loudspeakers that are connected to the app, which will associate their virtual loudspeakers with the connected physical loudspeakers. In the center, we have options to add items from an AIM design file or from within the SysNav catalog. The discovered section is where the physical loudspeakers connected to the system will be displayed. The first step is to make sure our connected loudspeakers and arrays are all represented here and that the individual loudspeakers in any arrays are in the correct order. The system I have connected is a simple three box LA-108 array. We can see that represented here. Now to check that loudspeakers are being detected in the correct order, we can use the ID buttons to identify each physical loudspeaker one at a time and verify that everything is correct. Once everything looks good, we can populate the inventory and reconcile the system. With the system online and active, this can be done in a single step. Select the array, loudspeaker or subwoofer and press to inventory. And just like that, the item is added to the system inventory and automatically reconciled within the design. It's that easy. At this stage, the L-Class loudspeakers will enter into SysNav mode and the rear user interface will be disabled. Once items are added, you can give your inventory items custom names. Names can be assigned to arrays, individual loudspeakers, subwoofers, and even each individual loudspeaker within an array. To name an array, tap or click the array box in the name column to bring up the text field and keyboard. Enter the name for your array. To name individual loudspeakers within an array, tap each box under the name column and enter the desired name. All right, that covers adding and reconciling loudspeakers in real time with a live connection. Let's take a quick look at building an inventory offline using the catalog and then reconciling the design to a system once brought online. In the catalog, you can add items one at a time or as complete arrays. For my example, I will choose LA-108 array and set the loudspeaker quantity to three. And there we go. We can now see the three box array on the left side. Continue to add loudspeakers or arrays to the inventory in this fashion until your entire intended system is accounted for and represented in the inventory. Another way to build the system inventory offline is to use AIM files. If you have built a virtual system using the AIM module and saved that design, you can import that system directly from the saved AIM file. We're going to select the AIM option in the center column any saved AIM designs on your device will appear in the right column. Simply select the file you wish to import from and set the total number of items or arrays you wish to import. For example, if I have a stereo left-right system, I'll set this to two, so I end up with two arrays, left and right. Once set, press to inventory in the center. The arrays from that design will then appear in the left-hand inventory list. With an inventory populated and saved in the design, we can reconcile the physical hardware once connected to SysNav. Go back to the discovered option in the center column. 
If you are reconciling an array, select the array as a whole in the Discovered section by pressing or clicking on the top of the array. Now, select the array in the inventory that you would like to assign it to. With both arrays selected, press Reconcile. SysNav has now associated the array in the Discovered field with the array in this system design inventory and changed the names of your boxes and arrays to reflect the system that you are currently deploying. To reconcile subwoofers or individual loudspeakers that are not in an array, simply select it in the Discovered field, select the corresponding item in the inventory, and press Reconcile. Repeat the process until your design is fully reconciled. That's it. Pretty simple. Whether you're working out of an AIM design or populating your system through the catalog, if you have items in your design that are not currently connected to the SysNav app at the time of reconciliation, the items will remain in the inventory but will not be available to reconcile. The items can remain in the design inventory, however, and will simply be offline. Okay, with the system designed, connected, and reconciled, your system should be live within the app. If we take a look at the control screen, we've got green check marks down the array. If we take a look at the telemetry screen, we can see our real-time voltage and temperature readings, letting us know that we are live and connected. We'll cover these screens in more detail in another video. The system can be powered on and off, and as long as no changes have been made to the physical array or the design within SysNav, the system will come back online and will not need to be reconciled or optimized further. Now let's say at some point a change is made to the array. Maybe some angles were adjusted or boxes were added or removed. This should now be considered a new array, and the optimization and reconciliation process needs to be done again. You can start fresh with a new design, or if using an existing design, you'll need to remove the previous array configuration from the inventory before reconnecting with the new configuration. With SysNav offline, navigate to the Inventory screen. In the System Inventory, select the array that is to be removed. With the array selected, press the Remove button in the center of the screen. Now follow the procedure to connect and reconcile a new array. Once your reconciliation process is complete, it is a good idea to save those changes to your design. From here on out, all additional changes made, including array shading, filters or EQ curves, and delay, can also be applied and saved into the design and recalled when the system is powered on and off. It is important to note that the re-reconciliation process will blow out any array shading settings that may have been previously applied. It is a good idea to take note of those settings before running through this process. For more information on creating and saving design files, please go check out our dedicated training video on SysNav design files. And that takes us to the end of the inventory training video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.